<risa> Todavía están soltando las truchas. No, ahorita las puede quedar. De 8 pulgadas para arriba ya. Es con madre, vato. Siempre he dicho que las de las de 10 siempre sabían bien ricas. It's about 16 inches. No, apenas pasó los 15, vato. Chingado. Por si acaso ya no salen. <laughs> right everybody so we're using this white k wiggler this is a willow tail we're fishing about three three and a half feet of water it's pretty deep it's above or it's about my belly button <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start casting and see if we catch some fish. We already caught two trout so far. Vamos a ver qué pescamos, right? Let's see what we're gonna catch. Let that lure drop a little bit and just bring it in slow. Since it is deep, I like to bring work it in a little slow to let it dive down. And hopefully we catch something. Let it drop and slightly pop it up. It drop, slightly pop it up. Drop, slightly pop it up. Drop, slightly put it, pop it up. Pop, drop. And we're on, everybody. We're on. LCD 956 Ultralight Rod. Let's see what we got here. We're on, baby. Probably a smart trout. Smart truth. That's a decent size. Decent sounds truth. Decent sized trout. It's gonna go back in the water. The so salty hit. Jig hit with a uh, K wiggler. This is, uh, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting. This is, uh, I'm not sure which one this is, but. It's a white one. I can't think about the name right now. All right, everybody. So we're going to go ahead and cast out again. And just so you can see the retrieve that I'm doing. So I'm letting it fall. I'm bringing it in slow. And we're on again. See, I'm bringing it in very slow. It's deep enough. I'm using a quarter ounce jig hit and I'm bringing it in pretty slow. They're a little better chop. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> see if it lets him so get him so. And now I'm just gonna use my hand. Fuck this. <laughs> Let's try it again everybody, let's try it again. Just want to show you, we're fishing deep waters. We're fishing deep waters with a slow retrieve. Quarter ounce jig hit, LCD 956 ultra light performance rod, custom. So, check out that retrieve, just nice and slow because that rod right there 
it's going to give you the perfect action for that lure since that tip is nice and soft it's going to give you that perfect action don't let that soft tip fool you because once you get that big fish you're going to see the backbone power on it and we're uh, we're getting nibs see how they left my lure let's do it again see how i change lures all right everybody so we're going to go ahead and uh, do our lure placement on the hook so as you see this k wiggler is a willow tail you see this round part that's going to be your bottom this is going to be your top and i want the hook to come out of the top like this reason is because um, if the lure is coming in like this towards you you're gonna be able to save it from catching grass or getting stuck or snagged in the bottom compared to having it like this they both work but i like that way better so you're gonna measure your your lure you're gonna measure your lure from the outside because this is where you're gonna have your hook placement keep your thumb there that's where your hooks gonna come out because this is where the hook tends to bend right there so it tends to bend right there we're gonna go straight down and where I said that was going to bend, I'm going to stick out that hook and then just push it to the top. All right, let's do it again. Same spot. We're just going to stay here since it's working with a slow retrieve. See, a nice far cast. Right on the cast. Right on the cast. <laughs> right on the cast. Saw that? We found a little hole, but they're, they're, they're just decent size. They're nothing big, nothing spectacular right but it's all good because soon enough the mamas will come to play I'm gonna grab with my hand if I can I can get in the video for you all I think I there you go there you have it everybody got a white willow tail K Wiggler release that beautiful trout let's catch some more fish all right lcd 956 custom rod that performance rod is going to do all the work for you check it out just fell retrieve it slow you slightly want to bend it up so that soft tip rod is basically gonna do this and your lure is gonna do that so you don't have to go too hard just slowly i got a bite and they let go, got another bite, they let go. And we're on, we're on everybody. We're on again. Look at that backbone on that LCD rod. We're on, killing these trout left and right. Gonna measure it. This one is going to make it, so we're gonna put this one on the stringer. If it lets me, and it doesn't come off. All right, let's do it again. I'm gonna show you what we're doing. Just a soft, slow retrieve. Soft, slow retrieve, soft. Remember that rod is gonna do all the work. We just got a nice bite, nice thump right there. They're gonna come attack it. Just nice and slow. That rod action is going to do the perfect retrieve for you. All right. All right, so I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, my lure's out of place. That big thump kind of tried to take it off. Place it a little better. Let's go ahead and do it again. It's out. Nice. 
you see Just slowly slowly and we're on we're on this is a pretty decent sized one look at that backbone these fish have no chance soft tip strong backbone it's not even screaming Check that out everybody. Check that beautiful trout out. <laughs> this color is one of my favorites around this time of the year. We are in the beginning of December, and this color is one of my favorites around this time of year. You've seen that I've been catching trout. Um, we, we, we're gonna try to find the reds, but if we're catching trout, let's stick to the trout first. And then we'll move our way to the reds if we're lucky enough, right? We're blessed enough. So the lure fell out there. And I'm just gonna do a slow pop up and let it sink down just slowly because that rod tip, like I said before, that rod tip is going to basically do this to your lure. It's gonna Bring it in nice and soft, finesse, lazy, and beautifully. See I'm getting bites already? I'm getting bites already. So I'm gonna kind of just finesse it a little more to get that trout's attention. All right, they didn't bite. I'm gonna move a little more forward. I'm gonna cast it out again. And there we go, let it sink a little bit, and boom, I got a bite, a nice bite. They might have uh, got my lure out of place, so we're gonna check it right now. But yeah, it was a nice dump. I'm gonna pop it a little bit, just to. See if I can get some trout's attention before I make it. And I did, but they didn't get hooked. All right. Always make sure you clean the grass on your lures. You do not want to be fishing with grass. The best results, take off the grass. Let's cast it again in the honey hole. All right. It fell. Nice little soft. Pick it up, pop it up, let it fall, pop it up, pop it up, let it fall. 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 If they're not as active as they were when I first started catching them here, I'm gonna start moving forward. If the fish stop biting, move, gotta find them. So once you find them, you can kind of slow it down a little bit. And then you'll be able to um, hopefully hook on. All right, so this. So since I've been casting to the left, I cast it slightly to the right to try uh, that area over there. And I think I got a bite. Remember, don't just cast in the same areas. Cast to the left, front, right, all directions. I'm gonna make sure you cast all directions. Unless they're biting in a certain direction, in a certain place, and they keep on biting, then keep on throwing it there. But if not, oh, it went off. Then you wanna switch. All right, e bit right there. So it's telling me that there's fish here. So let's do it again. It's telling me there's fish there. Let's do it again. Mm. 
And we're on, baby. I told you guys. I told you. It's a little small, so nothing too surprising unless it came off. No, it's small. Small truth. Small truth. Let's do it again, everybody, because that spot, for some reason, caught my attention. We're going to fix the lure a little bit. Fix the lure a little bit and let's cast. Nice. So we are using a Stratic C3000 FG or HGFL, I should say. HGFL Stratic. I'm sorry, it's a 2500. And this is one of my favorite reels. Ideally, I would have needed a, a lighter reel for this rod, but I went with a Stratic 2500 because I just love it. That trout came off. I had a trout, it came off, so we're going to do it all over again. We're going to do it all over again for you all right there. We're going to do it all over again. See, I just want to softly. I got two and I've let go a lot. And we're on. We're on, baby. Yeah. And another small one. We're waiting for the mamas. Throw it back. All right, so I switched lures. I wanted to try a different approach and I put the three JD lures. This is an inverted paddle tail. I'm not a big fan of paddle tail, but I wanted to give it a try. This is a pink um, three JD. Just show you. There we go. Ah, man, that trout's pretty wild. Let me show you that lure. Look at that lure. Woo! That's a 3JD for y'all, right there. Inverted paddle tail means it's uh, upside down. <laughs> we're gonna keep on using it. If it's working, we're gonna keep on using it. Um, I know I wanted to stick to my K Wiggler, but, you know, I thought I wanted to try something new. We're having a lot of fun out here. Why not, right? Keeper trout. All right, so this is the three JD lures with a um, quarter ounce screw lock jig hit. All right, so let's see what we got going on. The paddle tail, I don't work it as much as my curly tails or my willow tails. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of paddle tails, but it's th I think it's time we give it a try. So I just bring it in slow. Um, a friend of mine just slightly pops and I got a bite right now. Just bring it in slow because that tail's going to give you all the action. Alright, and we're on. We got 3JD. Yeah! Acá está el pocito, carnal. Cast it over here. The white was working, but then I switched to this pink paddle tail. Inverted paddle tail, I guess. <laughs> but the white, the white's killing it, bro. All right, so we're going to cast out again. Three JD lures. I like to try out all the lures I can. Uh, I do sell a lot of lures here at my shop. So I like to um, try them on and not discriminate any. So it's just, uh, you just reel it in. Look, this is how easy the paddle tail action is. Just reel it in. Every once in a while, give it a pop if you want, a pop, pop, or a pop. Just bring it in slowly. And there we go, we're on. Check it out. Yeah, that's all it is. 3JD lures in the house. My GoPro's getting wet. Yeah. 
so that's the paddle to everybody as y'all saw it's not a big it's not too hard to work it you know uh, a lot of people they tell you if you're not used to lures stick to a paddle tail you just re just reel it you can reel it in slow you can reel it in a little fast but just reel it because that tail's gonna give you all the action and it's gonna attract the fish and then it's gonna slam them bring it in slow and you know every once in a while you can give it a little pop just every once in a while you see and i got a bite right there after that pop i got a bite and i got it right there look check it out after that pop that's all it did and it came off good thing it did because i did not want to touch that trout we're gonna go ahead and do it again cast to the right maybe there's some big ones over there and just and just this this is all you do right here just bring it in pop pop if you want to give it a pop just to, you know give it a little extra action pop pop and just reel it in slow it down if you know there's trout and they're kind of not biting maybe you're going too fast so slow it down and then if you slow it down and they're not biting give it a slight pop slight pop because believe me they're chasing it you see they were chasing it pop pop and that's it just a little pop pop and just slightly pop pop that's what i like about this lcd 956 rod it's a north fort blank ultralight lcd 956 customized and uh, it has a nice tip a nice soft tip so it's going to work that bait very naturally and it's going to attract the fish right it's going to work that bait natural and we're on you see we're on right there we're on baby i'm telling you this rod right here if you want to get your hands on a beautiful rod like this just reach out to me reach out to me los canaleros del 956 los canaleros del 956 facebook instagram youtube tiktok all that great stuff Three JD paddle tail in the house. Small trout. We're gonna do it again. All right, everybody. So, a lot of people are like, so how do you work a paddle tail? This is an inverted paddle tail, but any paddle, I think it will work it the same as uh, any other paddle tail. Basically, you just reel it. Just reel it in slow. That tail's going to do all the action for you. As you see, it's going to do that. Just reel it in. And, you know, every once in a while, give it a pop, pop. A pop, pop. Just to kind of, because trout, fish, if they're around, they're going to be following it. They're going to follow that lure around until they decide they want to get it. So that pop, pop is going to kind of aggravate them. And hopefully make them get that lure, pop, pop. And hopefully it makes them grab that lure. So I did get some bites, but I got grass. So remember, clear off the grass. Take off the grass all the time. The grass is no good on your lure. The grass is no good on your lure. All right. So let's do it again. Cast out always cast as far as you can you always want some nice light tackle when you're doing lures you want a nice light tackle what i mean by light tackle is you want something um, made for a 2500 reel like a medium light um, medium also works the weight of the of the rod you want it to be medium medium light and for lures you kind of want a moderate action because you want the soft tip for lures Okay, that rod's going to help you control that lure and, um, and give you the best performance. So these are performance rods that we make. Uh, I like to say performance because we make them, we, we make them um, perfect for your reel, for your likings, and just, they're, they're biting him, sorry. They keep on chasing it. Pop, pop, get that fish aggravated, reel it in. Pop, pop, get that fish aggravated, keep reeling it in. They keep on going after it. They keep on going after it. Pop, pop, and just get that fish aggravated so they can slam that lure. And 
they're probably right here close to me I feel the fish behind my lure I literally feel it with this rod I feel all that action so the lure fell again so just bring it in slowly pop pop bring it in slowly pop pop bring it in slowly pop pop and they're slamming it pop pop all right everyone so we just put that uh, inverted paddle tail away because i want to try a different lure um i know i'm catching fish but i'd rather demonstrate for you all what i do with these different lures and stuff you know so we are going to that white uh, am fishing lures it's our garlic infused and that's a quarter ounce jig head screw lock screw lock is good because as you saw i was using the other type of uh jig heads and when you get a lot of trout biting and get a lot of trout action eventually that that lure is going to start to slip off so that screw lock is going to help you for that so it doesn't slip off as easily so let's go ahead and uh, try the am we're going to move a little forward because the bite kind of slowed down this is a curly toe i believe am garlic infused and let's see what we can do with it i'm going to work it the same way i was working my uh my uh willow tail and yep i'm getting bites yeah it came off so that's good because it was a little it was a little small remember what i was using what i was doing with my willow tail i'll slightly just bring it in just kind of doing this that's what i was doing just doing this and we're on right there on the fall <laughs> and it came off we're right here close by maybe we get something right there okay let's do it again that's the am fishing white let's see since it is a little deep i like to let it sink a little bit remember look what i'm doing with my rod and they're they're attacking that lure they're literally attacking that lure And they got it. Boom, we're on. That one's a solid trout right there. If it's still on, yeah, it's still on. Swimming this way. Not quite ready to give up. And it swallowed that hook pretty good. This is where my pliers come in play. So I can show you all. AM fishing. All right, everybody, so I've been using K Wiggler, the white one. I've been using the um, 3JD inverted paddle tail, and then we came to this AM fishing lure. When the fishing is hot, I'm going to be honest with you, when the fishing is hot and there's a lot of fish action, you can practically throw any lure of your choice, and they're going to bite. That's my philosophy, right? But everybody has different philosophy. Everybody has different thoughts on that. But let's do it. Remember, that rod is just doing this. That rod... It's just doing this. That's what I love about this performance rod. And we're on. You saw that? Look at that rod. We're on. Check it out. The proof is in the pudding. All right. This trout looks a little damaged, if I saw correctly. Check out that damage on that on that trout. 
something uh, either bit it or a propeller got it or something but check it out let me release this baby right here All right, so when you're fishing deep waters, you can kind of slow down your retrieve, like I've been saying before. You slow down your retrieve a little bit, you kind of just, you know, this is what your rod's doing, that's what your lure's doing. Just slowly bring it up and down. Slowly bring it up and down. Just slowly bring it up and down. Either the, the bite slowed down or they're taking a break. So regardless, I got a little nib, but not promising. And I want to move a little bit and try somewhere a little different. Maybe I'll find some bigger trout. So I'm going to move a little bit forward. So remember, the, the, the bite slows down. You want to move. If the, if the bite starts to get on again, then you slow it down. You slow down um, your walk-in. You stay put in that one place. If it's just biting, if it slows down, you wanna you wanna speed it up. So right now we're just move slightly forward, and I'm gonna keep on walking forward and kind of just slowly work my lure walking forward until I find that. There, yep, got one. Yep, this is a nice, decent trout right here. Remember everybody, I love using different lures. I do have some that I use more than others. But when you have a performance rod like this LCD 956 rod, it's going to help you work all kinds of lures. Alright, so we're back on. We're going to use this K Wiggler. This is the... The purple chart, or the plum, <laughs> the purple chart. This is a plum chart, something like that. I'm sorry if I uh, don't get the names, the names correctly, but you know, <laughs> there's so many lures out there, and I'm in the moment, so it's hard to kind of uh, remember everything. So let's try it. Let's try this nice dark color right here. And we're on. Decent, decent, decent. Woo! <laughs> All right, everyone, so we've been having a pretty good morning here. Been using different lures. Um, I have five so far. If I catch a bigger one, I'll probably release some. Um, so yeah. So we've been having a pretty good morning out here waiting in the lower Laguna Madre. 
So we're out here with Mr. Victor Ramos, Manchas Fishing Adventures. And he's, he's there putting in some great action, great work. Very knowledgeable guide out here in the lower Laguna Madre. Fishes uh, Port Mansfield, Arroyo City. Anywhere else that you fish, Mr. Island. Victor? Island. South Padre Island also. So if you want to get in contact with him, look him up on Facebook. So what should they search for if they want to come fish with you, Victor? On Facebook, it's under Manchas Fishing Adventure. Uh, Victor Ramos is my other Facebook page, my personal page. Phone number is 956-325-8326. Uh, and like Mark said, man, I like to fish out of here in uh, Arroyo for Manso, the island, and do some weight fishing. Uh, it's what I specialize on is weight fishing, uh, artificial, uh, any artificial you want to throw, top waters, hard plastic, soft plastics, whatever y'all want to do. So what you throwing right now, Victor? Right now, I am throwing the Bruiser by AM. Very nice color right there, AM fishing lures. Yes, sir. Throwing it on a uh, Palo Salado from uh, Seven Day Addiction Palo Rods. Uh, with an Abu Garcia uh, Revo ALF. What you think? Of, reel. What you think about that uh, Abu Garcia Revo? I like this little reel, man. It's so See? compact, so small, very smooth. Uh, great drag. But the most thing I like about it is the fact that it's super small, so you can actually palm this whole this whole reel right here, man. So pretty neat little reel. I I enjoy it, man. There you go. You heard it from Mr. Victor Ramos. Like I said, you want to come fish Lower Laguna Madre in South Texas. South Texas has some very very good fishing um, he does specialize on weight fishing casting artificial lures and there you heard it from him you heard it from him and we're out here having a good time with him it's about five of us out here fishing with him and we're having a great time slamming some trout yeah we're slamming trout everybody's been slamming trout left to right can we check for the football game yes sir so we check for the football game All right, so we found some pretty shallow areas here and we're gonna use a weedless system. Um, why I'm gonna go weedless? Because it's a little shallow and uh, there's a lot of grass in the bottom. I'm just gonna show you how to rig up the weedless system. We're using a K wiggler and basically it has this little spring lock. You're gonna dig it straight in the center and you're gonna twist it clockwise so it can kind of lock in there, right? And then once it locks about this much where you don't see the roundness of the spring, you're going to measure through the outside and that's where your hook placement wants is going to go so through the outside you want to measure it so you know where you're going to stick your hook in through so as you see the hook bend is about right there that's where i'm going to stick my hook through so i'm going to put my hook straight down through the middle and then hold on straight down through the middle and then when it comes outside you want to pop it out like this and then just higher it up so that's your weedless, so it doesn't catch weeds. When the fish comes, it's gonna bite down and it's gonna get hooked. All right, so that's all it is to it. So Jorge, no Jose. So Jose is hooked on again. Mira nomás, Jose. Mira, coloradito, nice red fish. Jose. Ahora sí. Ah, 
and hooked on. un poquito no me le quiero acercar mucho mira gordito con madre adentro los colmillotes esos que tiene Yeah. All right, everybody. So uh, I switched over to the K Wigglers. As you can see, we're hooked on in a nice red. drag except that my drag my drag clicker is not uh, working beautiful red Beautiful, beautiful red, everybody. Check that out. <laughs> All right, so we've been uh, fishing for redfish, and um, it's been a little slow, but they're out there. So I switched over to this K Wiggler. This is the Willowtail White Diamond, I believe, or something like that. And this is a Willowtail K Wiggler. I'm using the Weedless Quarter Ounce. And uh, basically, let me show you my retrieve. <laughs> Cast it out far. And, you know, on the drop and just solid pop, solid pop. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just popping it, letting it up, popping it up and letting it drop. Popping it up, letting it drop. Popping it up, letting it drop. So this has been a good technique for me around this time of year with this particular lure and I've been hooking on some reds today like this. Hopefully you can get something. It'd be nice if I can catch something on camera to show you all. But yeah, this seems to get the reds attention a lot. It's a little work but it does the job at times. 
a very good retrieve that I like to do. That has worked a lot for me. So, reeling it in. Always check your lure, make sure that it's nice and uh, straight and it's not lumpy. Make sure it looks natural as if you're looking at it inside the, its package. Okay, so I cast it to the, you know, right in front of me. There was no bites. So I cast it towards the right now. Same kind of retrieve. Hopefully we get something. Oh, baby. We are on. <laughs> se fue y vino para atrás. Se, se zafó y vino para atrás. We're on, baby. Woo! K Wigglers in the house. LCD 956 custom performance rod in the house. We did it again and we're doing it. We're doing it. Strong fish. Strong fish. Nice strong fish. I don't want to leave, I don't want to lose attention because it's a nice fish. Ahora sí no se me va a pelar. All right, everyone, so it was a pretty good, successful day out here with Captain Victor. So we're gonna see what we got going on here at the cleaning tables in the Royal City. Let's see what we got. These are all the trout he just finished um, deboning all these trout in 10 minutes <laughs> or less about 20 trouts 20 solid trouts we got some redfish over here <laughs> okay. 
that fish time. Ooh, they beat up. They beat them. They beat them. So there's a lot of cat, catfish in this water. They tear up anything that falls in there, including human beings. So don't fall. Yeah, don't fall in there. They eat coastal sunglasses. They eat bubble blades. Anything and everything that falls in that water gets eaten up by the hard head. So we had a pretty good successful trip, man. Um, everybody had fun. It was an awesome morning, very calm. The wind picked up a little bit as, as we finished our trip. And this is just the beauty of Arroyo City, Texas. South Texas, the Rio Grande Valley. The Lower Laguna Madre. So, in case some of y'all are still asking. <laughs> Captain, how do they get a hold of you if they want to come book a trip? Give me a call, 956. 325-8326. You could also message me on Facebook under Manchas Fishing Adventures or Victor Ramos. You heard it from the captain himself. You want to come book a trip? Enjoy some weight fishing? That's what he specializes in right here. You're going to have fun, I guarantee it. Beautiful, beautiful day here in Arroyo City.